Okay, what we're looking at here is a picture taken recently. This swan, as you can see, is sitting on the water, which looks very um, grey and uh, white, and doesn't look good with a white swan sitting on it. The day, the day this was taken, it wasn't extremely sunny. It was quite overcast, sun coming in and out. This swan, as you hear on the front, is quite dark. Um, and what I've done is I've brightened up this face and the neckline and I've also darkened the water so the swan stands out more against the lighter background. Now I'm just going to turn on a layer here where I've made the front of the swan lighter. I'll turn it off and on a few times. There you go. And that improved this part here. I also just very slightly increased the colour here on the swan. And then what I did is I did the water, made the water darker. And I'll turn that off and on a few times. And as you can see now the swan seems to stand out a lot better against the um, what was a lighter background. By making it dark, it stands out a lot better. Okay, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to come down the screen here and I'm going to click on Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer and I'm going to go to Curves, Create Curves. Now that appears off the screen. Let me bring that in. Now, I wonder if I can extend this window out of the way whilst I'm doing this. There you go. Limited room because I'm trying to keep the video size down. Okay. What I'm looking at here is the front of the bird, the neck, right the way down here, because I want to brighten that up. That's all I'm interested in. I'm not worried about what's going to happen in the back. So I'm going to bring the curve up, bring it up as far as I dare. If I bring it up too far, it looks pretty awful. So I just want to bring it up a little bit. That there would do. Now I know all the backs will be washed out there, but I'm not worried about that at this moment. So I'm going to click OK. And if I could bring the window back in now, you can see what's happening there. Now, this is a layer mask, which I'm going to uh, select. I'm going to make it black. That's my wife. As you can see, I'm not in the studio. I'm at home. Anyway, so I'm going to press that. What's the wrong one? Sorry, I'm going to press Control and then Delete to make that black. So what I've done basically is like deleted it off there. Now. Here comes the good bit, the painting. Now I'm going to come over here and I want to select my brush tool. Now if I can just move this down to that, you can see here I'm on white, completely black, so I've got it on white. And I'm going to zoom in to the bird. I'm using the mouse thing here, the mouse ball, or whatever you want to call it. Now the Mask, layer mask is selected. Now, what have I got it on? I've got 98% up there, occupancy. Let's see what happens with that. I'm just painting now. On to the, there. You can see it getting lighter. Because what I'm doing is I'm painting the mask. And it's revealing what that layer curve we did. Doesn't look much on the beak. But trust me, that is actually quite bright. So I'm just painting up, I'm on 98%. You see here on the fur, or the feathers I suppose, um, the brightness actually coming into effect. And this is all I did to brighten up the uh, this part of the bird and I left all the rest alone. Just simply starts painting. Now I'm doing it quite zoomed in as you can see. I could do it zoomed out but you get more control by coming in close to the subject and then you get much better control over the, what you're doing. Now I'm talking chipper in here, that's one of my sons. I'm purposely uh, doing this with my kids up because I don't want to spend up all night when they're in bed. And that's the only time you get any peace in my house. Anyway, you get the idea here. Just painting it down being quite daring here by going quite close to the edge but if I make a mistake what I've got to do is switch that over to black 
Now I can paint it back on. Switch it over to white there. There you go. And if I just zoom that out, you can see the difference here now. See how that that's being brightened up. It's a little bit too bright there, but I'm not that worried. And here we go all the way down. Now, as you see, I'm zoomed out a bit here. Like I said before, I could do it zoomed out, but you get you actually get less control, and it's easier to make a mistake. As you can see, looks like a piece of wood there, doesn't it? Anyway, just see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get right down to the edge of the water, just so you. Yeah, sort of hiding the line. Now I could take the occupancy down now. Take the occupant. I can't even say it. You know what I mean. This. I could take this down. Drop that down. It's about to say 32. And just have a go at blending this now into the water a bit. You could have, as I said, spend more time on it. I'd, I'm happy with that. Now we can zoom out. Now if I turn the layer on and off, we can see what we've done. There you go. Cool. Now all we've got to do now is repeat the step but with the water. So what I'm going to do is bring this in again. I can actually hide this layer here. Okay, and I'm going to click that um, create new fill there. I'm going to my curves. Now what I'm looking at now is the water area. Now I want to darken it, so I'm just going to pull the whole thing down. Excuse me, I'm about to cough. <coughs> oh dear. Okay, just getting over flu. Okay, now so you could set that right down. That's a bit too much. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Let me move that a touch. Okay, now it's, I mean, you'd have more time to sort of work with that. I'm going to just leave it there. There's our layer mask. I'll select that. I'm pressing Control and Delete. And now, all I need to do now is make sure I've got this selected here. <coughs> Excuse me. And move this out of the way now. Now, this is important. We're going to zoom right into the bird, because this bird's got feathers. I'm going to turn the occupancy up a little bit. It's about 52. And now I'm going to start painting. Now, remember, we've got like a soft edge brush here. So if I paint here, you see how it's away from the bird? But as I start bringing it in there, and because I'm zoomed in close, I can see exactly what is getting darker and what's not. Now that's actually probably, I could probably get away with a higher occupancy here. So I'm going to turn this up. It's about 80. There you go. Now, now I'm going over the same bit again. But you, this is the best way to do it is to work, is to build it up. Unless you're in a real hurry, of course. Now, I can, I can afford to get a bit more sloppy as I get away from the bird. Yeah. If I zoom that out, you can sort of see what's going on. Let's move this up a bit. Zoom this in here. Again, start away from the bird, and, and you can see it as I bring it in to the bird. Now, it's working pretty well, so I could take it right up now. Let's try on 100 and see what happens there. I'm getting very daring. There you go. Anyway, you, basically you work all the way around your bird. And, uh, let's just show you what it's going to look like with the darker water. There you go. I can increase the brush size just to speed that up there because I'm away from the bird. There you go. You get the idea. Now, if I was brave enough, I could. you could try and do it this way, but I wouldn't recommend it. There you go. It's just me trying to rush things best thing to do is to zoom into the bird or your subject and be a bit more careful with it because it's quite a hard line, harsh there. And by using a really small brush and zooming in, you get a lot more control and a lot more detail. And it makes it look a lot more natural, less like you've done it. Yeah, like so. And you just go around your whole picture. Let me just turn that off and on so you can see the difference. Brilliant. And that's basically it.